We are asking for your help in identifying criminals. It is the third time we're hosting our Crime Takedown Day. But you aren't the only ones helping police today. Jenna Janes is live now with how a new grant will help Omaha police. Jenna, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Dave and Cerise. Now, it's kind of a shocking statistic here. Since the 1960s, Omaha police say there's about 260 homicide cold cases as of right now, but there is some good news. On Tuesday, the city council approved a grant from the Department of Justice that gives the Omaha police $270,000 to work on those cold cases. Now, this grant means the potential for more thorough investigations. Of all the cases you see in these binders here, especially because the money can go toward DNA testing, many of those cold cases happened before DNA testing was advanced enough for breakthroughs. So that grant, combined with Takedown Day, could really help police. Some of these cases we know who uh, the killer is, but we need that extra help with the community um, and these witnesses that that have seen things to come forward and uh, and let us let us do our job and let us let us. Uh, get the killers and put them in jail. Now that 260 number that I mentioned just a second ago, that's only for cold cases. The number of unsolved homicides is far higher than that. You may remember this one from at 34th and Parker remain at large. Three people were killed and five others were wounded at this home on January 24th. Around 40 people witnessed the shooting, so police are hopeful someone will come forward. So just because Omaha police have that grant, it doesn't mean that they don't still need our help. So today for Crime Takedown Day, it's a call to action for all of us. Now coming up in the next half hour, we'll take a look at how you can make sure you don't fall victim to the bad guys. Reporting live, Jenna Janes, WOWT 6 News.